OK, in this screencast we're going to have a look at how we can edit a table or make changes to a table that we've put into one of our applications. So here I've got a table with information about the floral emblems of Australia and I need to add some more information to that table. So I'm going to go down to the Edit button in the bottom left to bring up the window where I can now edit the table. So if I just scroll down a bit here I can see my table and information and if I scroll down a little bit further here's the last row which has some information about Victoria in it but I need to have another row underneath for the information about Western Australia so if I uh, right click in that cell it brings up this toolbar or menu for me and if I go to row I get the option to insert a row afterwards so I'll click on that one scroll down to that row and I can begin to type in Western Australia there over here the flower for Western Australia is a kangaroo paw so if I put that information in there and then later on I'll come back and put the photograph of the kangaroo paw in there in that cell there. So if I scroll back up to the top, because I've put my states and territories into alphabetical order, when I started I forgot to begin with the Australian Capital Territory and that would be at the beginning of the alphabet. So I actually need to put a row above this one here. So if I click in the New South Wales cell and again right click, bring up that same menu and go to row again, it allows me to insert a row before so if I go there, I can start to type Australian Capital Territory and fix up the capital letters and things there. And then I get to put in the next cell the um, Royal Bluebell, which is the emblem for the Australian Capital Territory. So that's how we would edit tables adding rows above and below existing rows. We can also do that with columns. So if I had clicked here and wanted to add another column, I get the options to insert a column before this one or after this one. And I can also make changes to individual cells. In fact, if I wanted to go into the cell properties, I could do things like change the background color of a cell. So if I clicked the select button, I can choose a colour that I would like to have, say OK, OK that again, and then my cell becomes that colour. I can also make the normal changes to fonts by clicking on the font, going up the menu and choosing different font sizes and colours if I wanted to. So I get all of those toolbar options as well. So that's how I can edit a table